Welcome to our Before It's a Crisis video series, where we cover practical topics and tips that support teen suicide prevention. This quick video is about the crisis curve and the stages we experience when having a mental health crisis. Recognizing the different stages we move through on our way to a crisis and beyond is critical to avoid a crisis in the future. The first stage is baseline. In this stage, you are calm, in a calm state of mind, you think before you act, you enjoy talking to others, you are able to perform daily responsibilities and think about the future. The second stage is triggers. A trigger can take you out of that calm state and cause you to begin to worry or have stress. Triggers for you may be specific people, places, topics, activities, or events. The third stage is agitation or anxiety. Warning signs of this stage often show up in your body or your mind. Things like an upset stomach, tightening in the throat, heart racing, clenched fists, using curse words, pacing, or having racing thoughts. The fourth stage is acceleration. At this point, things are headed towards a crisis. There is a loss of control over emotions, feelings, and thoughts. Actions become physical or verbally escalated, for example, yelling, driving too fast, hurting yourself or others, or feeling out of control. When you reach the fifth stage, crisis, you reach an unmanageable state of heightened emotion. The thinking part of your brain shuts down and you go into survival mode and you make decisions you may not normally make. This can be dangerous for you and those around you. The sixth stage is de-escalation. De-escalation is when you begin to feel a reduction in intensity and there is a return to control over your emotions, feelings, and thoughts. You can use tools and techniques such as deep breathing, positive self-talk, taking a walk or running if you need some physical activity to help the de-escalation process. But don't wait until a crisis to use your de-escalation tools. They are valuable resources at any stage prior to a crisis to bring you back down to your baseline or calm. To set yourself up for success, start with a little self-reflection and a little self-discovery. What triggers cause your anxiety to go up or gets you stressed? How does that anxiety show up in your body and brain? What are the warning signs? If you know the warning signs, you can recognize them when they occur. You can use de-escalation tools to bring you back down to a state of calm or the baseline stage. The final stage is post-peak depletion. Being at the peak of an emotion is exhausting and oftentimes people feel depleted and they will find themselves feeling tired, exhausted, or even cry because of exhaustion. This is your period of recovery. Be gentle with yourself in this stage. Give yourself credit for the efforts you made to calm yourself down. Remind yourself that everyone feels strong emotions sometimes and you're not alone in this. We hope you found the information in this video valuable. For more suicide prevention topics and tips, visit our Before It's a Crisis page at nexusfamilyhealing.org forward slash before crisis.